little bit about uh, how Ford is innovating being able to back up a trailer. Hi, my name is Skip Butler. Uh, with Ford, we're demonstrating the Pro Trailer Backup Assist, uh, showing you what type of ease and comfort levels you can gain just by adding a simple control knob. Uh, very, very, very user-friendly system. Uh, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and showcase how easy this is. You'll need a, a tape measure, a pencil, or a pen, and a piece of paper, and you'll need to take four measurements, actually five measurements, but write down four of your measurements. Very, very cool, simple system. Uh, what we'll do here is I'm gonna go ahead and put it in reverse and showcase a system to you. Uh, if you can see here, you see this little checkered sticker. Uh, it's very nice. That acts as a central focal point for the computer. Uh, basically controls the geometry of your swing radius. Won't allow uh, your turn radius there for your trailer. So it won't allow any jackknifes to occur. It's very safe as long as you enter in all your four other measurements uh, uh, accurately. The first measurement you want to take, and you don't have to write this one down, is basically you grab your tape measure from the center of the ball hitch. You measure 7 to 22 inches. Anywhere in that zone right there, you can place this sticker. Um, once you place that sticker, you'll start your measurements that you need to record. Uh, first of all, you'll come in here and you'll measure from the license plate to the center of the ball hitch. You write that measurement down. From the center of the ball hitch to the center of the sticker, you might write that measurement down. We're looking through a camera lens right now, so you go from the camera lens all the way down to the center of the sticker. Write that measurement down. And then you take the measurement from your tailgate all the way back to the center of the axle of the trailer. If it's a single axle trailer, you just go right to the middle of the wheel. If it's a double axle trailer, you go right in between the two wheels. So it makes it real easy to understand and very easy to operate. Once you enter those, write those numbers or those measurements down on your piece of paper, you'll come in to the, uh, the truck here and start the processes to enter in the trailer. Um, you can name it, I named this as a pop-up camper, so I named it pop-up. The system will actually memorize 10 different trailers for you, so it's a very, very neat feature. You have friends with trailers, you can memorize theirs. Um, if you've got multiple trailers yourself, you can write those down and, um, <clears throat> and enter them in, and, it, and you just name them and go through and, and use those uh, um, examples to, uh, to uh, um, showcase every single trailer you have. Makes it real easy. Right down here is our control knob. Once we push this button, you can see right now it's off. When we push this, it turns it on. If you look up into your instrument cluster there, I've already named this trailer pop-up. So with my left thumb on the steering wheel, I'll go ahead and hit the OK button. And that's telling me that I want to locate this sticker. And that's what it's doing. It's locating the sticker at the moment. So right now, since we're in reverse, we can. Uh, um, it's telling us right now to shift to reverse. I'm going to shift to reverse, and then right now you can see this would be our control knob to actually control the steering wheel. So if I want the trailer to go left, all I have to do is turn the knob left. You can turn it at a drastic measure. You can turn it at a short angle, um, and anytime you let go of that angle it's going to steer back straight for you. Um, if you want the trailer to go right, you just turn the knob right. Uh, if you ever feel like there's an emergency or you happen to grab the steering wheel, um, oh, I'll have to put it on in the gas, but it, it'll actually, it deactivates it now thinking that there's an emergency. So it's a very safe feature. All you had to do is grab the steering wheel to deactivate the system. You'll want to throw it in park at that moment, and uh, you'll, you'll start over. If you look in your instrument cluster now, it's asking you to go ahead, since it's still on, it's asking you to go ahead and request pop-up. It's going to locate our sticker again. There's a better viewpoint for you. Once it found the sticker, all it's saying is shift to reverse once you're ready and we can activate our Pro Trailer Backup Assist. It is one of the most innovative systems they've ever put on the F-150 and I absolutely love it. It makes life so easy for me. I've been towing for years and uh, I think it's something that you're just going to have to jump in and experience yourself to really see the benefits and features, but talk about an easy system. It makes life simple. This system is going to be an option on the uh, 2016 F-150. Uh, it'll be coming out if you buy the trailer tow package 
uh, for about a hundred dollars as an option. Uh, this system will actually come uh, as a, as a feature in your truck. Uh, if you come back afterwards uh, and you want to purchase it or you decide you want to add that on later on down the road, it's going to run about $500. Uh, this is definitely a very, very impressive feature. Um, I was able to uh, back up a pop-up trailer. I'm not an experienced trailer guy. I was able to back up, uh, do a 90-degree park with the trailer within a matter of minutes. Uh, very, very simple to use. Uh, definitely worth checking out. 